So we're at part two. We left off uh, part one where we were looking and discussing app permissions. We are talking about how some apps have permissions and it's very important to review those permissions. The last one we looked at was affects the battery, which is prevents the tablet from sleeping. So you wanna be careful. You don't wanna have too many apps that do this because um, I'd say probably more than about 10 or so of these uh, apps that allow the tablet from sleeping is gonna adversely affect your tablet. So now that we agree to the permissions, we're gonna go ahead and accept the permissions and it's now gonna start to download. You can see it's downloading very quickly and it's uh, installing and when it's done installing it'll say open here on the right hand side and there it is we're going to download one more we'll download uh, Facebook and there it is and we'll do install again permissions comes up this is all the permissions that you're allowing Facebook to deal with and have control over let's do see all again Again, there's the controls, the vibration, prevents the tablet from sleeping, network communication, it has access to your accounts, system tools, sync settings, auto settings, and all that. So make sure you read all that before you download any app, okay? Again, it's what you are allowing the app to do on your tablet. Okay, this one's downloaded again. It's installed very quickly, and it should say open. And let's wait for that to happen. And there it is. We're going to go back to the home page. Those apps are now appearing on the home screen. You can move them around by tapping and holding on them and dragging them wherever you want to go. You can even put them over here. So let's say you want Instagram and Facebook to be on this side so you can move, take YouTube. Hold on. I'm sorry. Tap and hold on YouTube. Maybe not. Sorry, my fingers are not wanting to work with me. Well, Anyways, I apologize. There's a way to move whatever apps to the configuration that you want to have them in the system tray. Let's go back to settings real quick. And let's go to apps. And you see those are the ones that we've downloaded. It came with Google Play Services and Android Flash Player 11.1. We're going to go to on SD card and notice there's no check marks. All apps that you've downloaded, if they're eligible, should be able to be moved on to the internal SD card. Again, we're not talking about this SD card. We're talking about that larger internal memory space on the tablet. So if we go back to storage, there's the internal storage, that one point, that 0.98 gigabyte, and this is that larger internal space of 13.56 gigabyte. This is that internal SD card, or move to SD functionality. So we'll go back to apps. We're gonna go to on SD, and we're gonna tap on Facebook, and we're gonna choose this functionality here, move to SD card. When it's done, it's gonna say move to tablet. It's done. We'll go back to apps, and we're gonna do the same thing for Instagram. Move to SD card. Okay, now we're done. Let's go back to storage, and notice this bar graph's gone down a little bit, and this one's gone up a little bit. And that's what you need to do with any apps that you've downloaded. You need to manage these two spaces. You need to move whatever you can from the smaller one and put it on the larger one. Otherwise, you're going to have some instability. Now, let's go back to the home screen. Let's turn on Instagram. And there's Instagram. We're not going to log in at the moment. And we're going to turn on Facebook. We're not going to log into Facebook. But I'm doing this to show you... Um, well, hopefully Facebook's going to come on. Let's go back home. Maybe Facebook has got an issue. Let's see. Let's try Facebook. Ah, oh, there's Facebook. All right. So we're going to go back. And we're going to go back to settings. And we're going to go to apps. And now what we're going to do is we know those are on the SD card, but now they should be running. These are all the things that are running on your tablet. Notice there's a bar graph at the bottom. The closer you get it to be filled, the slower your tablet's gonna be performing. So you wanna, again, manage this space. So we know settings is running, Facebook is running, Google Play services, Google Play Music, Maps, Maps, Android keyboard. Can you stop some of these things? Yes. Can you not stop some of these things? Right. 
You want to be careful what you stop and what you don't stop. I would not stop settings. I wouldn't stop Google Play services, system update, Google Play Music. But you know, your maps and your Facebook or whatever games you download, bingo, solitary, um, fluffy bird, whatever, those ones you want to stop. Now you notice Facebook just left, okay? So you gotta make sure that you're paying attention to what's running all the time on your tablet. Otherwise, if this gets filled up, your tablet's gonna crash, it's gonna freeze, it's gonna run slow, and then you're gonna end up calling WinTech Industries customer support team. So, to avoid all that, manage your space of what you download. That's gonna conclude our first and second part video of the FileMate Clear X4 T750, and we'll do another video next week in regards to display, HDMI, screenshotting, and we'll talk a little bit more about accessibility, about the tablet, and we'll talk a little bit more about Bluetooth. We'll connect it to a Bluetooth keyboard and I'll just show you what one looks like right here. This is the iHome Bluetooth keyboard and we'll do that next week. Thanks so much and if you have any questions, feel free to um, check us out at Fan of FileMate um, on our YouTube page. Have a great day, bye-bye.